I did. I used to live in Santa Cruz uh, in my late teens and early 20s. I lived here. <clears throat> I lived uh, in town and I lived in Felton, right by the Bigfoot Museum, which I've just heard is wonderfully still open. <clears throat> and if anyone has been to the Bigfoot Museum recently, uh, let them know that I said hi. I used to go there a lot stoned because I lived very close and just hang out with this guy who was a very sweet and interesting man. And I remember the first time I went, <clears throat> I was very intrigued and he had this uh, map. I don't know if he still has it with all these push pins in it. And I said, what is this? He said, these are all the Bigfoot sightings in the area. And there were a lot of push pins. I was like, damn, we got a lot of Bigfoot sightings here. I said, what are these from? He says, people come in, they tell me where they saw them and they put the pins in. I said, do you need like a photo or a plaster cast of the foot? He said, no, they just tell me. I was like, you can't trust these stone hippies with their Bigfoot sightings, man. <laughs> but he did. It's hard to be in Santa Cruz and then to leave Santa Cruz. It's so, it's so nice here. And while I am not a card-carrying vegetarian, I don't eat much meat. And as I travel around the country, people are not as aware of that or as gentle as they are here. I don't know if you guys have ever, if any vegetarians are out there and you're on a date with somebody, you know, people, the meat eaters know. They can sense it. It always happens, they're like, are you vegetarian? Why? Well, you haven't mentioned meat in like 14 minutes. I'm just wondering. They can sense it. I miss Santa Cruz a lot. <clears throat> this is a Tom Petty song. Still working on my transitions in and out. Speaking of Bigfoot museums, we dedicate this to Sasquatch. <clears throat>